Welcome to JWL Sports, where I review all the best sports clips from around the country. Now, you're probably wondering, why should I watch over here instead of over there? Because over there, they don't care about what you have to say. They say this all the time. They don't respect us. They don't read any of the comments. And we're just a bunch of clowns on YouTube, Twitter. But I think it's the opposite. I think we know exactly what we're talking about. So I read every single comment. So if you think what I'm saying is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, let me know in the comments below. If you think what I'm saying is the most amazing thing in the world, then definitely please let me know. Either way, let's get into some discussions, let's get into some fights, and ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something truly, truly special. Something that we all feel genuinely connected to. Something that we're proud and excited to be part of. Something that I think we lack when we interact with the other platforms and the other channels. And I really believe we can, and I really believe we're already on our well on our way to doing it. So please do consider subscribing. I truly see this channel just as much as mine as it is yours. So with further ado, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, first things first, um, talking about is Dak Prescott the MVP? Because I guess apparently Micah calls Dak the MVP, which is no surprise, Micah. You know, you're going to talk up your QB, especially going into the playoffs. Um, but I will say an emphatic no. And there's many reasons why he's not the MVP. Um, one of the more notable reasons why is that the Cowboys in recent uh, history, and I don't love using history as a frame of reference necessarily, but this is pretty recent. Um, the Cowboys won like what, like seven games without Dak. Um, so that's just something that you can't just completely ignore, but let's just, we will ignore that for the sake of this argument and just say that the Cowboys have played so many bad teams. None of their, none of their victories were truly anything special because any of their victories were against bad teams and their losses were against good teams. And so, you know, Dak didn't ever really play particularly well against actual good, legit teams. If Dak played amazing against the 49ers or against the Bills or something, then I would say, okay, but he did not do that. And he didn't lead his team to the number one seed. And it's not to say that you need to lead your team to the one seed. But last season, people were saying that the Eagles had a pretty easy schedule, which is, you know, true. Um, and Jalen Hurts was in consideration for MVP, which he ultimately ended up not getting. Um, but not only did the Eagles also beat good teams that season, not only did they beat the bad teams, but they also beat the good teams. They also had the number one seed. So they were unquestionably the best team, at least in the NFC, right? So um that that is the big difference the cowboys did not and the cowboys only got the number two seed really because the eagles just completely just fell apart right all the eagles had to do was win like you know one more game out of the next like out of like the last like five or whatever and they would have locked it but they couldn't so again that's an indictment on the eagles you know, so save your Eagles hate for an, for another comment section here, because this is not what we're talking about. But the Eagles did not play well. And so the Eagles did not deserve to have the two seats. So there's a difference, right? Like the Cowboys didn't earn it. They just like had it because the Eagles just were a disaster. If the Eagles were even semi-competent in the last, you know, two months, right? Like they literally just needed to win like one more game and it would have been. So again, um, you know, maybe if Dak also ended up winning the game against the Eagles, um, on the road, you know, for the Cowboys at, at Lincoln Financial, um, that would have, you know, helped add to it. I think that would have made it be a, a bigger special moment for him, but he stepped out of bounds, right? So that, that's a knock on the MVP conversation. I think Dak has played incredibly consistent and well, um, but, um, I don't think you watch those games and just think Dak is winning us those games we need to have it's the same argument um with the brock purdy in that regard and brock purdy you know and the 49ers have the number one seed and walloped you know the the cowboys so i think it's just very clear that dak is not the mvp and to me it's very clear that it would either be um there's a few choices here actually but uh lamar jackson is who i think is the mvp but if for just for the sake of argument, you could throw in 
Josh Allen and Christian McCaffrey, um, and then Dak Prescott. You know, um, I think I think then maybe you could add that, but I don't think like Dak is in by any means like second up. Basically, a foregone conclusion. Not to Micah Parsons, who went to bat for his quarterback. Take a listen. Lamar played great. Uh, obviously, he's going to win MVP because how the media looks at it. But Dak played the best football in the NFL. I don't. And, and you know what? As a quarterback, no one can tell me differently. The stats, the film, uh, the plays he's been able to send, what he did this year, he he is by far my MVP. It's great. First of all, Mike, you're doing saying. an awesome job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great like if he didn't play football, I'd be like, here's Micah Parsons, the guy who lives in Texas, and he's still interesting. Uh, okay, so this season, same, uh, you know, Lamar has more wins, obviously, but all the numbers there are closer than expected. Well, Total TV, what, TVs. Yeah. Again, the schedule. Dak Prescott did this against... The Giants, trash team. The Jets, trash team. The Patriots, trash team. Then they got rocked by the 49ers. Uh, Chargers, trash team. Then they got rocked by the Cardinals, trash team. Then they beat the Rams, who at the time weren't that good. And if you want to say, well, they're a great team, fine. Congratulations. You beat one actual good team convincingly. Then you lost to the Eagles, who if you're a Cowboys fan and a Dak fan, you think the Eagles are a trash team. Then they beat the Giants, trash team. Beat the Panthers, trash team. Um, the Bills, you lost to. Um, did not play well, Dak Prescott. Lost to the Dolphins, Dak Prescott. Did not play good. Um... Then you played against the Lions, and you had this controversial win by one whole point. Congratulations. And then you wallop the Commanders, who are a trash team. That is completely different than, say, what the Ravens did and what Lamar Jackson did. Um, it's just completely different. And again, Lamar Jackson, you're not factoring in his rushing yards. Lamar Jackson is the leading rusher for the Ravens. So it's just like, that's absurd that you're just, you know, you can't leave that out. We can't say that, you know, we can't pick and choose when we want to say being mobile and running is, is special. And also let me know when Lamar Jackson has like a CD lamb on his roster, you know, he doesn't. So it's just like kind of, you know, kind of absurd in, in, in a lot of ways, quite honestly. And I know, you know, um, yeah, it's just, very clear to me. TVs Dak has 38 close. and Lamar only has 29. Yeah. So, Nick, is there a case that Dak's the real MVP? We're also welcoming in Greg Jennings, Super Bowl champion. I think there's a very obvious and easy case. I think you can make a super compelling case for those two people and those two people only. As the year ended, with McCaffrey being hurt, his numbers slowing down, Purdy imploding in that one game, and I think having a bad three-game stretch, I and Tyreek not coming close to 2,000 yards. Mm -hmm. I think there are two people who you can sit on television or in front of microphone like Micah and make a compelling argument for, which is why I find it so odd that if the Vegas odd journey were close to be correct, it is a runaway. Mm -hmm. It is damn near unanimous. That's the part that I, I am not going to neg Lamar and act like that, you know, oh, my God, Lamar doesn't deserve him. I think it's totally credible to vote for Lamar. But one of the things Brew was saying throughout the year that at one point was true and I no longer think is, is, oh, but it, it's such a weird year. When you look at Dak's numbers, numbers and the fact that his team did climb to the two seed, yeah. it's no longer a weird year. It's just like, oh, yeah, usually that wins. They didn't climb to the two seed. The Eagles fell. MVP. Now, Lamar is a unique case because that it, it is a lot of eye test stuff. It yeah. is his impact on the game and the pressure he puts on defenses, which is why I'm totally fine with him winning it. But Dak should have a – if there's 50 first-place votes, I think it's close enough to where it should be in the 20s to in the 20s, like a 28-22 oh, wow. vote split. And really? I think it's going to be closer to, like, 45 for yeah, Lamar, like three for Dak, and a couple for Josh Allen. Is Who probably would you vote for? My vote would go to Lamar. Yeah. Uh, but I also oddly think – that what hurt Dak was that Lamar didn't have to play in week 18 
And so we just totally threw away Dax Week 18. Dax Week 18, I know they're playing Washington, yeah. was wildly important. Yeah. Yep. They lose that game. They, they, they didn't know they, Giants, the Eagles were going to lose too. But they could have fallen to the five seed. And he dealt and was awesome. So I, I just think there's a real, real case for it. Uh, look, I think it's, it should be. He dealt against a team that has a number two overall pick because they are such a trash, awful team. And uh, he dealt, baby. I mean, like, it's just so absurd. And he played it. Not only did they put all, was the Washington already a trash team, but then they had um, a bunch of their starters, especially on defense, not playing. So it's just, it's so, it's so asinine. Why would we consider that game, you know, at that point? I mean, it was, you know, may, may as well be playing, you know, on the practice squad. Close. I'm with Lamar, but it should be closer than the odds are saying. Yes. Um, the pro, I think there's two strong, I, I mentioned the eye test for Lamar, obviously had the best record, but it's just one game separated. Yes. All right. But I think two big things, Greg, for Lamar, first of all, the injuries. All right. Dak I've had take. a top, what, two, three receiver on his team. All right. Lamar played without, he lost his top two running backs. It's totally legit. He lost his yep. all-pro tight end or yep. pro bowl tight end in Mark Andrews and made Isaiah likely. Now he's a player. Um, and, Nick, I remember, I don't know if you still agree, you said midway through the season, Kansas City's receiving core was better than Baltimore's. So he didn't have a great receiving core. I think I, it's good. I, I agree with Right. You. Okay, so not a great receiving yep. core. And Well, so that really matters then because if you're going to have comparable stats and have greater success – then, then how would that be relevant? Then, then how would it be similar? You know what I mean? Like, how would you say that this person then is just, you know, did more? That it, that it's almost like equal, or, or it should be closer to the MVP because you can't. Lamar clearly did more with less, and has clearly demonstrated undeniably that he is more valuable to the to the Baltimore Ravens than Dak Prescott is to the Dallas Cowboys. So I think that's the first argument for Lamar over Dak. Secondly, and you know I'm big on who you do it against. Against the playoff teams, this is these are their numbers. Boom, this is what I'm trying to say and this is what I'm trying to highlight, okay? And it's just not particularly, you know, close because just look at that record. Look at the passer rating. I mean, it's just like, you know, in the yards, yards per pass is a big difference. Um you know, and I got news for you. That playoff team record, a big boost in um, the touchdowns and yards and this, this overall stats is against the Eagles, who have played awfully, just awful, 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 awful. So it's not even like a fair comparison in that regard um, because that has greatly improved Dax record and numbers in that regard because the Eagles just you know at you know just played just so poorly. It's good. Lamar. So he got two good games out of the Eagles. One only one win, but two good games that really, you know, up to stats. Lamar was better. Look at the passing yards. He's right there. Obviously, we expect Dak to be better with that. But completion percentage, TD to interception ratio, yards per attempt. And obviously, passer rating. So Lamar was better against the best teams over Dak too. So I think those are the arguments why Lamar gets it. What's interesting about this is early in the season, I was saying Dak is the MVP. So you guys mm -hmm. know how yeah. I feel about Dak. He's had a tremendous season. I don't think there's a way you can make that case now, mm -hmm. simply because when they needed him to be great, those those last three games. The, well, not the last three because the Washington was the last three. Yeah. But you mentioned it was a throwaway. Clearly a throwaway. But Buffalo, yep. on the road, we know they had road problems and road issues. Could they overcome those road issues and those woes? And he played great. He did not play great in that game, and they got blown out. And then you go to Miami. I thought he was really good in Miami. He was good in Miami, but you lose the game. Not good and right. so you, you almost, that's almost a wash. And so in those games, and then Detroit, it's like he was great in Detroit. Well, against won. Detroit, they won. But it's like a question mark on that right. game. Like, uh, I understand. I understand. And then when you, if I go back to Lamar, on top of all that you said, he was in a completely new offensive system. And the thing about Lamar was, okay, can he be a throwing quarterback? Can he come from behind? He checked every box. So it's hard to say you have a case that is comparable to Lamar. When you look at the numbers, absolutely. Right. Dak had a phenomenal year, a great year. I, you see the numbers and the I, stats and the rankings. He had a great year, I'm but it, it's Lamar's. Sorry. Uh, 
Well, this is Josh came up. A lot of the ideas that I say are just like my own concoctions. This is 100% Josh. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm we, going you to know read. how the audience knows what? if it's smart or not. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, oh, that must be that Josh guy's The thing. Vikings all was all Josh. I was like, I'll go with it, Josh. Uh, he got blown out twice, obviously, San Francisco and Buffalo. The last eight MVPs combined, only two losses combined. By 20 plus, and Dak wow. had it, uh, you know, wow. twice in one year. So the, that's again, this that that all just continues to prove my point and what I've been saying about not only Dak Prescott but the Dallas Cowboys as a whole. And it's why everyone wants to say that I'm a hater, but yet you know the last eight MVPs combined two losses by 20, and they in they had two in the same season. That's real and it was against buffalo it's not like buffalo is this juggernaut of a team they're not this jugger i mean they're a great team they're the two seed but they're not this juggernaut of a team that's just unstoppable and then the 49ers that's just a tough game to forget 42 to 10 i mean that is just ugly 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 and dak did not show up when you really needed it the most that has been a consistent pattern for Dak Prescott, as well as the Dallas Cowboys. But I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this one. Please let me know in the comments below. Do you think these stats are overblown? Do you think Dak is actually the MVP? If not, who do you think is the MVP? Do you think I'm just being a hater? I'm not being a hater. But if you think I am, please definitely let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to subscribe. We are building an amazing community, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. And please do give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the visibility and really helps with the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.